Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And the, uh, the the week before, I came back from Singapore, and I got uh, I brought back a souvenir. It's called Shinanu. It's from Tamiya. It's a, a waterline series model, and it looks. I have already assembled it, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is the picture for the Shinano that was in the box. And this here is the box and the model is actually inside. You actually have to assemble it yourself. Let me just get the, ins the instructions here. Yep, you have to assemble all the, the parts individually. It's really, really tiny. But I have, I have no problem with that because, well, it's pretty good. I love it. And I'm going to review the model right now. There it is. I haven't painted it yet because well, my parents don't want me to paint it. And uh, here she is. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me just move this box a little bit. And then place it on this box here. Let me just get the light here. Look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at those guns right there. Let me just focus. Focus, come on. Focus. Focus. Uh, it doesn't really want to focus. And here's the the island, the bridge. Huh. Wait, where'd the third rocket launcher go? Hmm? What? For some reason, I lost the third rocket launcher on the aft. There's a lot of guns out here. Oh, look at that. That's the 127mm Type 89 5-inch gun, as I already mentioned. And here, back here, I'm not sure you can see it, but that thing right there is a radar. It's a Type 21 air search air search radar, I believe it was. There's, there's one more on the bridge here. This funnel is actually pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. And there's a four Titan 96 25mm guns in the front here. Three in the back right here. And all of them scattered all over here. Let me just get you over there. Look at them all scattered on the bridge, on the sides here. And there's a lot of rocket launchers around here, side. Sorry, don't mind my hand. And down here, you got these these uh, support things for the, for the um, what is it called? Flight deck, right. And we got a crane here just in case if you need to ditch any or jettison any aircraft. The smallest part on the Shinanu is this part right here uh, come on I'm not sure you can see it or not but it's actually the crest right there can you see it uh, you can't really see it let me just get into the light see it I you can partially see it I think you can't really see it can you well basically it's a small part let me just get the instructions here uh, where is the part? Where is that part? Oh, wrong side. Uh, yeah, here it is. That part right there. That thing right there. You see that dot? That is the album of the uh, Shinanu. So let, a little history lesson for the Shinanu. It was originally built to be a battleship of the Yamato class. Okay, I, I have one like outside here. Let me just um, bring it here. Uh, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, here's the Yamato. And let me just move it a little bit. Here's the Yamato, and the uh, thing you were. The thing I was talking about is this thing in front. Uh, you can partially see it right there. And this is. And if y Shinanu was supposed to be completed in 1946 as a battleship, it would have looked like this. Yep, it would have looked like this with the 18.1 inch guns, the massive, massive superstructure. Uh, this this model is quite old, so it's kind of partially broken. You got these uh, 127 millimeter guns. We got uh, these 25 millimeter cannons up here, and that right there, I believe, is a 13.2 millimeter gun, Type 96, I think, as well. Oh, we got the single barrels. We got this uh, Type 3 triple naval gun, and we also have these uh, uh, air 
anti-aircraft gun directors and this massive funnel in the middle and this unique mast which I kind of like it I'm, for some reason and we also have this uh, crane back here looks absolutely gorgeous and the two catapults and let me just get my Shinanu from the table here let me just compare it to the absolute monstrous size of Yamato. This is a one, one slash uh, three fifty model of the Yamato, and this here is a one seven hundred Shinanu, a waterline series. So you don't really see this part. Well, just saying the this part. It has a bulbous bow in the front, and actually, and as you can see, the armor looks pretty pretty thick on the Yamato. It's supposed to be going on the on the um, Shinano as well, but it was on the Shinano at the time. And the Shinano was actually one of the first Japanese carriers and actually the first in the world to have armored decks after the Midway. Well, actually before the Midway, I'm sorry. And these armor belt armor was three inches thick on the real Shinano. And the armor belt, which is this thing here, it was about 16.5 inches. And the turret of Yamato, sloped as you can see, is about half a meter thick. That would be 1.5 feet. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was, that's pretty thick mm -hmm. as a battleship. And it's actually, Yamato is considered to be the heaviest battleship in the world at 72,000 tons. While Shinano here weighs about 68,000 tons because of her <coughs> refit. And you know, this one turret, including the barbette, which is the part where they store the ammo, weighs about 3,000 tons. It about weighs as much as a Fletcher class destroyer, which is absolutely insane. Well, a little history lesson about Shinano. It was built as a battleship, as you can see over there. It was supposed to look like that if it was launched in 1946. But mm, it it was sailing in to Tokyo Bay in about April. No, I'm. So, I think it's 1944, late 1944, mid 1944. I'm not that sure. I'm not quite of an expert in, in this, all this. But it was sailing through Tokyo Bay and US, a, sub, a US submarine attacked it with with four tor and it hit four torpedoes. One around here, another one right here maybe. And one more directly at the structure. And about another one right here, I think. I'm, I'm not that sure. And it dis and it sank stern first, with uh, losing about three hundred crewmen without even going to battle. If this uh, aircraft carrier would have been fully complete as an aircraft carrier, I'm basically saying it would have carried about seventeen A seven M. Repu fighters, uh, about another 17 um, B-7A Ryuzes, and another 17 B-6N Jills, and about 6 uh, C-6N-1 Mert reconnaissance aircraft. If, if the Shinano was actually the largest carrier ever sunk by submarine, and it was the la it was the heaviest aircraft carrier until 1958 when the USS Forrestal was actually launched and 90 and about um 88,000 tons i believe it was or maybe maybe it was lesser than that I i'm not that sure i'm not that interested in modern aircraft carriers well well it sunk with about 300 crewmen in there but at the time she never carried these aircraft she only carried about six Shinyo suicide boats and about 17 Oka uh, rocket kamikaze aircraft. And the Japanese never actually wanted to build it as a fleet carrier. They wanted to build it as uh, some support carrier which carries replacement aircraft. About 120 of them, I believe it was. That's quite a lot. That's, that's comparable to the size of the air group of Midway, which is 120 two aircraft I think 
Look at this bridge. It's quite unique. It's very similar to Taiho's bridge, but I'm not sure why the, the, the Japanese didn't mount the, the 10 centimeters, 10 centimeter, I mean, sorry, 100, cent, 100 millimeter guns on the, on the Shinano because of better velocity, because it fired 20 rounds per minute rather than the 15 rounds per minute those things fired. And those things had greater range, pretty much. But I don't know why they still had to mount eight of these. Maybe they're much better in the way, suppose thing. I am I am not sure. I gotta research this. Well, as you can see, it has two elevators on the deck, which are quite unique for a ship. Well, it's typical for Japanese ships, but for the Shokaku class and and uh, for the Shokaku class, as about three elevators, but it's quite good. Ah, these things are massive. Comparing to the size, they're about one feet. This Shinano here is about two times the size. I mean, y y Yamato here is two times the size of Shinano, not the real, the real one, the 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 uh, the models. The this Shinano, the Yamato is about two times the size of this Shinano right here, which is absolutely insane. So, uh, Shinano is actually considered a flat top, to be honest, which is quite a good nickname for an aircraft carrier. So, the war. Well, uh, in 1945, uh, Japan surrendered. Shinano was still resting at the bottom of the ocean. And uh, so, that was a good history lesson, guys. That was a good history lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching of this review on the Shinano. Hmm? Say goodbye, Shinano. Are you, you, you're not going to say goodbye? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video of Warceptical Gaming. Goodbye, everybody.